Good morning, backpackers. Today we're going to sing The More We Get Together. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And now it's time to say our prayer. Five fingers here, five fingers there. Put them together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day, and thank you for all the beautiful colors in the world and in nature. And thank you for keeping all of our friends healthy and safe. And if you have a prayer, you can add it to that as well. Amen. And now it's time to do the days of the week. Today we're going to clap, clap. One, two, three. Days of the week, clap, clap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, clap, clap. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, clap. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, followed by Friday and Saturday. Remember, earlier this week, we put our dried markers in some water, and look what's happened. The purple water, the water became purple with the purple marker. The water turned orange with the orange marker. The blue marker made the water blue, and the water turned green with the green marker. And now we have made our own watercolors. And let's do an art project with them. You'll need a straw and a sheet of paper. And what you do here is you're going to, let me take these out. What we're going to do here is we're going to dip them in the paint and do some art blowing. So you put your straw in the water or the watercolor, but it won't stay. But if I dip it in first, then put my finger on it, look, the water stays in. The reason is because the air, it, you trap it because there is no airflow. So what you do is you get your water, your watercolor, put it on your paper and drop it. And then you get your straw and you blow it. And I think I'll use a, the orange. I wonder how well that orange turned. Oh look, it looks pretty dark. I'm going to drop it. Let's try the blue. Remember, dip it in. Once you dip it in, you put your finger on the top to stop the air from coming in. And that will hold your paint. A bigger piece of paper might work. Let's try the purple one. What happens if I stick my finger on the top before I put it in? Will it soak up the watercolor? No, it does not. So, dip it in, put your finger on the top, and hold it all the way till you get, until you get to your paper. And that is blowing art. And there's what I made. So, if you have some dried markers, don't throw them away. Make your own paint and get a straw and use them for painting. Now let's sing Make New Friends. Remember you need to make new friends. Okay. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I'm going to be your friend. And now it's time to do our zoo phonics. And remember, we're doing them mixed up. Z the zebra is the letter Z. Z. Okay, 
Katina Cat is the letter C. Nigel Night Owl is the letter N. Hmm. Honey Horse is the letter H. Huh. Umber Umbrella Bird is the letter U. Uh. Uh-oh. Ellie got stuck. Ellie Elephant is the letter E. Eh. Willie Weasel is the letter W. Bubba Bear is the letter B. B. The letters got stuck in honey with both there. Ollie Octopus is the letter O. Oh. Jerry Jellyfish is the letter J. J. Timmy Tiger is the letter T. T. Francie Fish is the letter F. Yancy Yak is the letter Y. Y. Lizzie Lizard is the letter L. Mm. Pee Wee Penguin is the letter P. K O Kangaroo is the letter K. Robbie Rabbit is the letter R. R. Gordo Gorilla is the letter G. G. Sammy Snake is the letter S. S. Missy Mouse is the letter M. Mm. Quinny Quail is the letter Q. Any inchworm is the letter I. I. Vincent the vampire bat is the letter V. Dee mm. Deer is the letter D. D. Xavier Fox is the letter X. And our last letter is Allie Alligator. Ah. Today's story is Mr. Duck Means Business by Tammy Sauer and Jeff Mack. Mr. Duck Means Business. He does not look very happy. Look at all those signs. This one says, Private Property of Mr. Duck. No trespassing. That means you, you cannot go in. Don't even think about it. Duck crossing. And that is all. Keep off the grass. This one says, no visitors welcomed. Shh. Mr. Duck lived by himself at the pond. Each day he followed a tight schedule. From six in the morning until seven, he would stretch his wings. From seven until eight, he would fluff his feathers. At precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, oh, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet. I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same. And Mr. Duck was very happy. Then one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw, who did he see? P. 
pig. Look out below. Splash. Oh no. Pig looks happy. Duck looks scared. Mr. Duck sputtered. He muttered. He tailed a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. Duck looks grouchy. But Pig did not notice. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly word, worded speech regarding private property when. Well, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called out Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck? said Cow as she plowed past. Moo! Splash. Cow looks happy. Pig looks happy. Not Duck. Duck grumbled. He mumbled. He flip-flop flumbled. But Pig and Cow did not get the message. Oh, look, they're having fun, but not Duck. Oh no, Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what, what, when. Hey, said Goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo, called Pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, cheeped a chick. Come on in. I mean, come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow, you're it. Look at all these animals. They look very excited. Not duck. The water got wild. The scenery got crowded. And the peace and quiet, it was gone. Oh, look at mouse and horse and sheep and goat and pig and cow and even chickens. They're all, and all the little chicks are having fun. But look at Duck's face. Oh, he's frowning. He's not happy. Mr. Duck tapped. He flapped. He totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. Oh, look. Look at their faces. Perhaps we've overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out, out of my pond, cried Duck. And this time I mean business. Oh, so sorry, my apologies, goodbye. Oh, for good, Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Oh, look at Duck. He is very upset. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluttered, he fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, oh, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet, and that's just the way I like it. Look, he's happy. On Monday, quiet. Tuesday, very quiet. Oh, look who's peeking. Wednesday, very peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers, peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, do you think he's happy being all alone? Mr. Duck had a plan. Although he got his pink paint, his brush, 
and more signs. This one says, property of Mr. Duck. Don't even think about it. Duck crossing and that's all. No trespassing. But look, all the animals are watching him paint his new sign. What do you think it's going to say? These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01, and he is happy. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. His new sign reads, noise welcome from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. P.m. means in the afternoon. Especially with friends. So from 2 to 4, his friends can come and make some noise. And everybody was happy, including Mr. Duck. I hope you enjoyed. Mr. Duck means business. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. And this is a different song. It's a song that we would sing normally when we say goodbye during our celebration. And it goes like this. May the circle be unbroken. By and by, Lord, by and by. We will see you all someday. But for now, we say goodbye. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Gwen. Goodbye, Kai and Katie, too. Goodbye, Leah. Goodbye, Morgan. Goodbye, Nora, Joe, and Parker, too. Goodbye, PJ. Goodbye, Sienna. Goodbye, Miss Alexa and Miss Ruth, too. We will see you all Sunday, but for now we say goodbye. Goodbye, backpackers.